So we're, we're building an airplane in our garage. And when you build an airplane in your garage, you really need to kind of set things up to, to really optimize your building process to make things flow better and, and keep things organized and whatnot. So we've made some, 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 some key upgrades to the garage here or the, the hangar, the shop. Uh, and so I thought, what a better, what better time to share those with you than, uh, than right now? In case you are looking to upgrade your garage, now would be a good time so then you can keep your eye open for those good deals. So definitely the first thing on that list is lighting. Lighting is huge. It's Jimongo because look, lighting makes the difference between, well, seeing stuff and not seeing stuff. And if you're going to be working in your garage a lot, uh, especially if you're going to, maybe you don't have a lot of windows. Most garages don't have very good natural lighting. And you're probably not gonna wanna have your garage door open all the time because uh, it might be cold or it might be hot. So lighting is huge. The best thing that we did is we bought two really bright LED um, shop light fixtures. And so this, this is to replace like the kind of uh, standard fluorescent kind of shop light. And then over here is the uh, LED light. Now the LED light is really bright. It does, you know, the, the, the color temperature is a little bit co uh, colder. So um, that's kind of something to keep in mind. I, I would, I would try and get warmer if you can get the, get some warmer LEDs. That's what I would say, but that makes a huge difference. Definitely improve your lighting, get some really bright LED shop lights. Um, I will put a link in the description below, uh, for the ones that we got, we got them off of Amazon and I can't remember the brand, but for what they are, I think they're very good so far. They've lasted really well. We've had them about how long have we had these? We've been using them quite a lot over the past six months or so, and uh, so far they've performed very well. The next thing is actually something you might not think of, which is a dehum dehumidifier. Um, I was skeptical at first when, when my dad was like, hey, we should get a dehumidifier because I thought, yeah, it's such a big space, you know, in the garage and it's open, and then there's the garage door and it's not really sealed up that well, so I thought, you know, is that really going to make much of a difference? Well, let me tell you, it does. It makes a huge difference um, because here in North Carolina, it gets very humid. And when you're in the garage and, and it's humid and it's in, it, it's terrible. It's horrible working out here. You can't breathe. You can't think. It's way too humid. And you can have a fan going, but the thing about a fan is that, well, one, it's loud. Two, it blows all the papers and everything everywhere and dust. And... Also, it, it's, you're still just blowing the hot, wet air around. So we got a dehumidifier, which is that little guy right there, and we put it on a stand, and, uh, and then there's a hose going out the back of it uh, to, that goes to the outside, so all the moisture. Now, as it's getting colder, in, uh, it's November right now, so it's getting colder, so there's not, um, not quite as much moisture in the air, so it's not working as much, um, so it's not as necessary if you're if you're gonna be working in the winter, but it is still very, very nice, and um, it will blow out basically hot, dry air. So your garage will probably be hotter, but it won't be as humid, which is a very, very big deal. Wheels, you gotta have wheels. Wheels are fantastic, I love wheels. Wheels, you might even say, are, was the best invention ever, uh, potentially. So putting your, uh, putting your workbenches, putting your shelves, chairs, all different kinds of things on wheels is very uh, useful for your garage because then you can move stuff around. Stuff isn't fixed in place because when stuff gets fixed in place, you, you're limiting yourself. You're limiting your options. So like we have, um, now it doesn't mean we move everything around all the time. Of course, the toolboxes are on wheels because they come with wheels. That uh, workbench over there is on wheels. This gigantic workbench is on wheels. Um, big old, I think I want to say six inch wheels. And uh, let's see, this, this, uh, this other workbench over here is on wheels. This stand is on wheels. This shelf is on wheels. This is not on wheels. This chair is on wheels. Wheels are fantastic because it makes it a lot easier to move stuff around. Now, especially, let me, let me just highlight this big table right here. Actually, this is one of the huge improvements that you can do to your garage. So I will, I'll add that to the list. But this huge table right here, uh, it ha we put, what do we do? We put, I think we put six wheels on here, six large wheels, and you can actually move this thing around 
just fine. I mean, it's you know, it's a little large, a little awkward, but you can totally roll it. We could roll this thing right out of the garage, clean the garage, roll it back in, whatever we want. So that's pretty fantastic. And while I'm talking about it, I will just say a big gigantic table. Now this is not uh, unless you know, unless you're building something really big, you won't really want this huge of a table. But having a giant wheeled table is really great. Um, this thing is two. Uh, four foot by eight foot, uh, like particle board things. I want to say these are almost like an inch thick, possibly, or uh, maybe like three quarters of an inch. In any case, that's really great. We'll we'll do a separate video just kind of on how we went about building this table out of the crate that the Zenith came in. But I digress. Mats, because look, when you are at your table or wherever your workbench is, uh, you're gonna be standing a lot of the time and most likely your garage is going to have a concrete floor. So what we have here are squishy rubber mats here. You get them from uh, Home Depot or whatever. And um, yes, I am wearing Crocs. I wear Crocs a lot because Crocs are awesome. And these, the great thing about these rubber mats is that uh, or what you should do is you should cut them in half because they come in big squares But like you don't need a big old square because you're not going to be standing like four feet away from your table while you're working on it So what you really want to do is cut them in half and then you have like a I guess about a two foot two maybe one and a half foot uh, Piece and then you can kind of run them all along the table and at different different areas where you're gonna be standing It makes a big difference um, because your your shoulders and your knees and basically your entire body is going to be not liking you if you decide to stand on concrete all day while you're working on stuff, even if you're wearing Crocs. Hanging shelves. You can actually see a hanging shelf right behind me. Now, of course, shelf, shelves um, in general are great, but hanging shelves take your shelf stuff to a whole new level, because literally, because... Uh, because they're, they're hanging there. So you can see it's attached to the ceiling right there, and over there, and there's four, four points there. It's a, little, it's a little bit of a pain, especially if your garage is built kind of wonky and trying to find the, the, the wood pieces to actually you know, screw into. Obviously, you can't just screw it into drywall. That would be pretty funny because it would just fall right out. That one just has like boring garage stuff. This one has much more interesting airplane stuff up there. And that's very helpful because look, it's right above these refrigerator things. And this way, you know, we have, a, you can store a lot of stuff right there and it's totally out of the way. You can totally walk under it. You can put stuff under it. Over here we have a, uh, a workbench that is kind of acting as extra storage right now, but it's right underneath this other extra storage thing. So you can put all your seasonal stuff, hang them up there, works super great. Definitely, I would say, look for some of those. Last but not least, saw horses. Now this kind of is, this is kind of more generic, but basically what this is gonna do um, is gonna, it's gonna give you options as far as, uh, I would say temporary, not store, temporary workspaces in your garage. So if you have, and, and these are really cool actually, um, so you can see here the airplane is actually sitting on top of these um, sawhorses and these ones are cobalt brand sawhorses and what these do is actually fold up right into the, uh, right into the aluminum um, kind of housing right here and they fold up and it's really nice because then you can put them on a shelf, maybe even a hanging shelf when you're not using them and then they, they also are adjustable in height as well. So this is pretty cool and pretty essential because um, this way we have, because we have the uh, airplane over here, or the, well, the largest part of the airplane over here, and that allows us to free up space here so that we can actually work on other stuff, other components that we're gonna attach to the airplane. And uh, underneath, you can, I mean, you know, you can still store stuff uh, temporarily or whatever underneath the whatever it is that you have on here so you don't have to put an airplane on the saw horses you could put uh you could put another you know some of these big boards and then have yourself a fantastic temporary workspace that will really uh help you optimize space in your garage so those are just some upgrades that we made to our garage that make a really huge difference oh the other thing that we did well this doesn't i don't know whatever paint we painted the garage white really helps before it was like a nasty really gross off-white Painting really helps, so I guess paint your garage also if you if you can. Um, there we go. 
So there you go. There are some upgrades to your garage that you can make. You might want to make those if you decide to build an airplane or something in your garage. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and uh, consider subscribing to this channel if you like these kind of airplane building in the garage videos and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. See you later.